Hello everyone, welcome to PRP Coding YouTube channel. I am Praveen Ravindran Pillai. In this session, I shall explain about API key authentication using middleware approach in ASP.NET Core. So, let's start. I have created an ASP.NET Core Web API project and it is opened in my VS Code editor. If I click on this project here, you can see that the target framework is set to .NET 8. Now, in this project, it contains a constants folder, a controllers folder, and a middlewares folder. In the controllers folder, I have created a message controller with an HTTP GET method message, which returns a string, welcome controller based API. Similarly, in the program.cs, I have created a minimal API endpoint with a route API slash minimal slash message, which returns a string, welcome minimal API. Now, let me run this application and test these two endpoints via Postman. The application is running and it is listening in port number 5000. Now let me switch to the Postman extension. Here you can see that I have created a Postman collection named API key authentication with two requests, controller based and minimal API based. So let me click on the controller based here. And here you can see that it is a get request with the URL HTTP localhost 5000 slash API slash message. Now let me click on the send button here. And here you can see that it's a status 200 with a message welcome controller based API. So similarly, let me click on the minimal API based. This is also a get request with HTTP localhost 5000 slash API slash minimal slash message. So let me click on the send button. And here you can see that welcome minimal API with a status code 200. OK, so everything is working as expected. OK, so now let me implement the API key based authentication in this project. So what I'm trying to do here is that in every request, I'm going to pass a header key named API hyphen key with a value. So in the headers, I can pass API hyphen key. And for the time being, I'm setting a value as ABCD. Now, in the API, first check the API hyphen key is present in the request header or not. If it is not present, then return an unauthorized response with a message API key is missing. If the key is present, then validate the request header key value with the API secret in this project. If that is not matched, return an unauthorized response with a message API key is invalid. The API key based authentication can be achieved in many ways. Here I am going to use the middleware approach. For that, we need to add a custom middleware class. So in the middleware folder, let me add a class and name it as API key auth middleware. Okay, so this class should have a constructor that takes a request delegate parameter. The request delegate represents the next middleware component in this pipeline. Then we need to implement the invoke async method. This method contains the actual logic that will be executed for each HTTP request. So as a first step, let me pass the request delegate parameter in the constructor. For that, I'm going to use the primary constructor approach. So here I can pass a request delegate and let me name it as next. Now, the next step is to implement the invoke async method. For that, let me add the code here. This method takes the HTTP context as a parameter. In this invoke async method, we need to write the logic for API key based authentication. First check if the request header contains a key named API hyphen key. If it is present, then extract the value associated with this key. If not, then return an unauthorized response with a message API key is missing. So let me add the code here. So let me quick fix, let me add using system.net, okay? So here you can see that I have added, if not context.request.headers try get value, here I have passed an API constants.api header key. So what is this? So if I hover here, you can see that it is API hyphen key. This API constants here I have added in the constants folder, okay? Here you can see that I have created a const string API header key with API hyphen key, okay? So it will go and check if this value is present in the header. If it is present, then assign the value in a variable named actual API header key value. If the API header key is not present in the header, then I'm setting the response status code as unauthorized 
and the response message is set as API key is missing. The next step is to check if the actual API header key value is equal to the expected API secret set in this project. In the app settings.json file, here you can see that I have created an API secret with a grid value. If the keys are not matched, then return an unauthorized response with a message API key is invalid. So let me add the code here. Uh, here I can say if not actual API header key value dot equals. So here I need to go and get the value of the API secret key set in the app settings.json. For that, I need to inject the I configuration interface in the constructor. So here I can pass I configuration and make it as config. And here you can set config dot get value of string and here I need to pass the string as API secret. So here also I have added an API constant so I can say API constant dot here I can use API secret. Okay. If the actual API header key value does not match with the API secret then set the response status code as unauthorized and set the response message as api key is invalid so let me copy the code here let me paste it here and here i can say api key is invalid okay so if the key matches then we need to call the next middleware in the pipeline for that i can say await next and pass the current context. That's it. Now the last step is to register the API key auth middleware in the request pipeline. For that, let me go to the program.cs. Before authorization, I can say app.use middleware and here I can pass the API key auth middleware. Okay, so here let me import the namespace here. Sorry. Say quick fix. Okay. So now let me go and restart this server and test the endpoints. Now let me restart the server now. The server is restarted. So let me switch to Postman. Let me click on the controller based. And here, let me close this. This time click on the headers. So let's see without any key how it behaves. So if I click on the send button here, you can see that the status is 401. API key is missing. Now let me pass API hyphen key. Okay, and let me click on the send. This time it's saying that API key is invalid because we didn't pass any key here. So let me pass A, B, C, D here. Now if I click on send, still it is getting API key is invalid because the key is not matching. So let me go to the app settings.json. Let me copy this. And let me paste the code here for the API key value. Okay, now let me click on the send button. This time you can see that the status is 200 OK and it is welcome controller based API. Similarly, let's go and test the uh, minimal API base. OK, so let me switch to the headers tab and let me test this endpoint without passing any key. So let me click on the send button. Here you can see that the API key is missing and the status is 401 unauthorized. Now let me pass a key API hyphen key here. Let me click on send button without any value. This time it says that API key is invalid and the status is 401. And now let me pass the actual key and let me click on the send button. And this time you can see that the status is 200 OK and the message is welcome minimal API. OK, so one last thing I would like to demonstrate is how allow anonymous attribute can be used along with this API key auth middleware. For that, let me switch to the controllers message controller and let me decorate this with allow anonymous attribute. Okay, similarly, let me go to the program.cs and here also I can set the allow anonymous. Okay, here I can say dot allow anonymous. Okay, so now let me restart this server and test the endpoints. Okay, so let me switch to Postman and test these endpoints. So in the controller base, in the headers, this time I'm not passing any key. Why? Because I have decorated the controller with allow anonymous. So it should work out of the box. So let me click on the send button, but we are getting 401 unauthorized. 
API key is missing. Similarly, let me go to the minimal API and here the key is there. So let me remove this key. Let me remove this key and let me click on the send button. Here also it is saying that API key is missing. Both the minimal API endpoints as well as the controller based action method is decorated with allow anonymous attribute, but it is not working as expected. That is because every request is processed by the API key auth middleware. If the request header does not contain a key named API hyphen key, then it will immediately send an unauthorized response to the client. Hence, allow anonymous attribute is never executed. So is there a way to allow anonymous requests? Absolutely. This can be achieved by writing custom logic in the API key auth middleware. We need to check if the endpoint is decorated with allow anonymous attribute. If it is decorated, then bypass the API key based authentication. For that, let me switch to the API key auth middleware and add the logic here. Okay, so let me minimize this. Okay, and let me add the logic here. So here I'm saying var endpoint is equal to context.get endpoint. So this will go and get the current endpoint. Then I am checking in the current endpoint if it is decorated with allow anonymous attribute or not. So here is an error. So let me import the namespace here. So this will go and check endpoint.metadata.any and it is checking whether it is decorated with allow anonymous attribute or not. Now, if it is not decorated with allow anonymous, then only go and execute this API key based authentication logic. So here I can say if is allow anonymous equal to equal to false, then only execute this API key based authentication. Let me Otherwise, execute the next middleware in the pipeline. Okay, so now let me restart the server and test the endpoints without passing the API key in the header. Okay, so let me close this. Let me switch to the postman. So this is the controller based endpoint and here I have not passed any API key. Now let me click on the send button and here you can see that the status is 200. Okay, and we got the message. Welcome controller based API. Similarly, let me open the minimal API based. Here also I'm not passing any API key in the header. So let me click on the send button and this is also working as expected here. We got the status as 200. OK and with the message welcome minimal API. So the allow anonymous attribute is working along with the API key auth middleware. So this is all about API key based authentication using middleware approach in ASP.NET Core. If you find this video helpful, then please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next updates. Thank you.